This is Sir Colossus on the morning of the 10th of August 2005 and we now have quite a lot more of Colossus working particularly the counters are now all functioning, all five counters here and we've now inserted the new uh, stepping and uh, carry system on the K wheels and also commissioned the remembering circuits and that's what I'd like to uh, show now. We have on the uh, paper tape uh, reader, the bedstead, a re of a, uh, of a known German uh, text, a decrypt, re on the Bream settings and this is the tape which we use to, uh, to test uh, Colossus and also to demonstrate the, uh, the settings. Before we can uh, start doing any uh, measurements on the tape, we have to switch various signals into various parts of Colossus. And one of the switch settings here is the, uh, the selection of the uh, output from the paper tape and sending it to what's known as the Q bus. We can select either direct Z or in this case we want delta Z because we're going to try and use the wheel delta wheel setting algorithms to set this uh, particular tape. So we want the delta Z signal and now we can also set the delta of the, of the patterns and we have to select the bream patterns. So we've selected the bream patterns uh, in, to go into the K wheels. Uh, we've selected the delta X out from the K wheels and added that to, uh, to delta Z and that is all now going to go up onto the Q bus. So it travels through to the top of the K2 switch panel to the Q bus up there. And that is where the signals which we just selected are now available for processing with various algorithms to try and set the wheels on this particular cipher text. So those signals come down on the, on, 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 on the, on the left-hand side there on five channels, one, two, three, four, five, from, from left to right, and we can select various bits and to try to set the, the wheel positions. Now the first algorithm we're going to try here is one plus uh, two equals dot, and that is set on the, on the red switches uh, down here, and so down here we have set uh, 1 plus 2 on the first two switches. We're then testing it for equal to dot and we're putting it into counter number 1. So that's the, the first algorithm which is normally used to try and set wheels 1 and 2 on, the, uh, on, on, on this particular tape. The next thing that has to be done is to uh, set the, the wheel start positions, which we want to try against this, this, this tape. And that is done with the, uh, the, the jack strips here. And these are the setting positions for the K wheels, and then the M wheels and the S wheels below. But there's the K wheels here. And so we can set the start position for a particular wheel. We can also, on the master control switches, set whether we want a, a wheel to step every time the, uh, uh, the, the tape goes round or whether we want it to carry from one wheel to the next to, to enable us to, uh, to, 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 in, to look, look at all possible wheel start positions for two wheels. So we set this and at the moment, just for this demonstration, I have set the K1 wheel to 1 and the K2 wheel to 9 but I happen to know those are the correct positions for matching this particular tape. So now we have the, the counter outputs um, which we've, which, from, from running this, this particular set on, on, the, on, on the tape and we had switched um, uh, d uh, 1 plus 2 equals dot into counter number 1. And so here is the result of that algorithm recording every time all the way down the tape. So this is being refreshed in the blank interval uh, when the join of the tape goes through and then it's counting all that algorithm all the way down the tape. 
and you can see there it's giving a count of 3,012, 13, diggering about by one or two, but uh, that's basically 3,012 there is the count on that. Now, if we uh, switch the, um, the, the input off of that particular uh, algorithm, then we, um, we have uh, the, the count showing the length of tape. And the length of tape there is 5,674, uh, 5, 75 there. So the random score should be half of that, 2,837. But when we're in the correct position of the algorithm, we're actually getting a, um, a score of 3,012. And that is way above average. It's actually uh, 4.7 sigma above average. So that means that in that particular position, we have found the correct matching point for the chi wheel position against the, the Lorentz machine settings when that particular tape was generated. But that, of course, is only a, 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 that's the position where we already know the correct position. But in fact, we would normally want to explore all possible wheel start positions. And so, if we uh, set the both wheels to, to, to one there, using the SU switch, that's now put both, both wheels into the one position there. And we can now, um, we, we can now step through uh, one, one position at a time on K2. So if we put the K2 switch down, and then we and then we do the do, do the stepping. Um, we can now step that one position at a time there, and you can see the uh, the counts changing here because every that is trying different wheel start positions all the way down the tape, and uh, and, and so that's that's now stepping through. And if we go back and, and, and do that again, so you can see slightly more clearly, if you watch at position 9, you will see that the uh, 3,012 position comes up there, 9, coming up now. And uh, there it is, 3,012. So we've stepped through the correct position there. Now, that's exploring all possible wheel start positions. But we really want to to record uh, the, the output on the typewriter. We don't want to have to watch the, the lamps all the time. And we only want to really print out on the typewriter the results which are uh, significant. And that is done with the set totals switches. So here are the set total switches. And, uh, and, and the, the uh, switches on the, on the far left-hand side here are the switches for counter number one, and we're uh, running on counter number one at the moment. So what we can do is we can turn this to 2,900 there, 2,900, and that will now only uh, print out any, any counts which are greater than 2,900. So now we can set the, uh, uh, the K2 wheel looking for the correct uh, position, having a set, set total. And so here it is now, um, stepping round, there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there it goes now, nine, And there, that has printed 09A, which is the first counter, 3011. So that's found the correct position um, on the uh, uh, on the searching through.